Wales and voting green. I have taken time from my work on that environmentally exemplary and politically very correct television show Outrageous Fortune to be your MC for the afternoon. I'm kind of like your, your decorative bookends between all the important bits. change at this election. People get tired of leaders and of political parties just as they get tired of their furniture and it seems time to rearrange the room or go out and buy some new stuff. But no one seems very clear what they want to change to. Let's change from tax cuts to bigger tax cuts, from Mother Coke to Father Pepsi. We know how different they taste. If you're sick of the de decor and you want to change the furniture, why would you change from grey to grey? The change you need is green. Um, I'd like to introduce now um, the Green Party MPs. Firstly, Dr. Russell Norman, <laughs> Jeanette Fitzsimons, Sue Kedgley, Sue Bradford, <laughs> Keith Locke, Materia Toure, so it says here, photo opportunity one. <laughs> so everybody, I give you photo opportunity one. The real question we need to ask ourselves at this election is who's going to be the voice for those who have no voice? Who will be the voice for children? 900,000 children and young people have no vote at this election. The Green Party will be the voice for those who inherit the earth. Which party has the basic human decency to say that it's a basic human right for people to know where their food comes from? Who will be the voice for the children of the future who will miss out on swimming in a New Zealand river because it's so polluted it's dangerous? Who has the courage to stand up against the death threats, literally the death threats of the fundamentalists who want the right to beat their children? Who will be the voice for the children and adults growing up and living in poverty? Poverty which denies them the chance to grasp the opportunities that this beautiful country offers. The Green Party is a voice against poverty even when it's not trendy. The Green Party believes in a fair go for everyone, no matter what side of the tracks it come from. And who, who besides the Green Party has the guts to say to the roading lobby, we're sick of your trucking companies, we're sick of your roads wrecking our cities, we're sick of your pollution and we're sick of your giant trucks making our roads unsafe. The Green Party has the guts to fight for a decent, reliable public transport system and we'll get you home cheaper and faster as well. Surely, the lesson from the current financial crisis is that you can't keep borrowing from the future forever. Only the Green Party recognises this simple truth. And who will stand beside Ngāti Tara in the far north in their attempt to save stunning Doubtless Bay from a council that wants to fill the water with sewerage and fill the land with subdivisions and suburbs? The Green Party stands beside Tangata Whenua and anyone else who will fight to protect the future of this country. At this election, don't waste your vote on the old grey parties. Don't vote for the past. At this election, vote for a strong green voice in Parliament. Vote for the future. Party vote green. Good speech by Russell Norman, very um, fired up. Russell's speech, that was really, really moving and um, powerful. Jeanette, just to me, is full of integrity and then Russell is this new face of energy. It was really positive and, yeah, I think it sounded exciting. I thought it was excellent. I think it really outlined, obviously, the policies of the Green Party. Russell was absolutely on fire. It's that, that voice of conscience that, you know, Parliament is so lacking and it's here, it was all here in this room today. I think I might watch Outrageous Fortune for once after tonight. <laughs> Who should you vote for on November the 8th? Party vote, Green.